Oh boy. I was always in for a good time. Should we not pull the release until it's flat on the ground? What's up? Should we not pull the release until it's flat on the ground? Probably <laughs> wise. Okay, so this truck was not tagged for tow, so we can't tow it out of here. But it is in the way of getting that out. So we can't remove it, but I don't think there's anything wrong with moving it. So I'm going to fire up my truck, drag this one straight forward out of the way. Then I'm going to grab one of those lines. Uh, we got to get this down on the ground. We're going to try to load it on a rollback. So I'm going to try to grab it and pull it up over even farther so that we can get all of this stuff out from underneath it and then I'll try to lower it back down gently where we can get a roll back under it. Think it's gonna work? Absolutely. Absolutely. We don't 60% of the time it works every time. I love your confidence. We can't do it till Somebody has to have it. We'll try away. <laughs> I think I'll get lucky and grab this tire and it'll all just come? Uh, possibly. Where's that confidence now? <laughs> You're the one who said you weren't always good at this. A lot of people said that, not just me. <laughs> Let's find out. The answer is no. Why did I not <laughs> just have Gary pick it up, he'll be fine. There's no removing. Yeah. It's only a move. Yeah, there was no a move about it. All right, I'm gonna run the line to that camper and see if we can yep. do something with that. Are we gonna have to run a line through it and wrap it to suck it back? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a tree saver and go through those holes right there, hook it at the top. Top. Yep. Okay. See if that works. At least you're only five feet tall. I know. I kind of think this might work. Looks like it should. I mean, we'll at least rearrange it and see how sturdy it is. So you'll notice that he's standing on flat ground and still taller than the camper. Monkey arms. <laughs> Right now it looks like a three inch thick layer of foam and some fiberglass. That will come all the way over. We'll have to take it on sideways. The hole that's cut in it doesn't have reinforcement, but the one that the AC is mounted in does. So if it does pull through, I bet it pulls through that one and stops at the other. I, I'm guessing. <laughs> Plastic pallets don't work so good for that. Those are expensive too. I was gonna say. These like brand new nice ones. Well, those things are probably a few hundred dollars a piece. Yeah. I just bought some crates from Uline. I can tell you I spent that shit in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
he's got it winched up right it. now, yeah. Yeah, I grabbed the top and pulled it over. Bring it down! Clear! Is this a uh, is this a good ad for Arctic Fox? Takes a beating. Takes a beating. <laughs> All right, now what screwed up thing is going to happen because that went so well? <laughs> this one's on the right of the motor. It's like a little flip lever am I only need one end. Is there a motor down there? Yeah, Gary uh, tore the whole front seat. rail off, so there's that. <laughs> well, then all we have to do is fix the back rail. Yeah. Uh, no, that that shaft, it's a square shaft, runs all the way from that one to this. It's just a gear. So this is the release right here. Yeah, yeah. Pull, pull that and let's try and push it in. Okay. Is there a way to can hold you, it up safely? Here, Gary, can you get something like that in there? Or? Yeah, if we could jam it up and then push on it with the skid steer. Even I've got some then, stuff like And then we won't tell Troy yourself. that the slide's <laughs> unlocked before he takes it down the road. Yeah. We're trying to get this slide in so we can pull it down the road. corner and try to yep. spin it so it's pointing out. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo, careful. Where, where are we planning on backing in first? Right there? Uh, well, Troy's his rollback. He can probably... We're putting this on the right rollback? Here. Yeah. That's Well, we're going to try to. Yeah, oh, he probably can. can. Yeah, if we basically align it with that tree. If really touching it with the kids here, it'll definitely explode. <laughs> Keep it going. Good. Keep going. What? Keep going. Keep going. Watch this kids here. Hold. That's good. Hey. Let me tell you what happened to me today. It All right, let's go. It took me so go. long to get that truck out of there. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys left. Right, all fine, cool. <laughs> no, oh. no, we're gonna get to that. So, <laughs> you guys left, all cool. I can hook up the dollies. For some reason, that stupid thing was fighting me like crazy. So I'm like, screw it, I'll drop it, go around, pick up the other side, put the dollies on, just set it in. Doing that, and then Rita comes out. Uh, lady that lives out there. Okay. Very nice lady. We had a conversation, and by that I mean she just she talked a lot, and I was you there just because I needed to. <laughs> you were present. And yeah, so Rita finally leaves. That 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 took a bit there. Now I'm wrestling the stupid truck and fighting and trying to get that thing hooked up, and I blew out my ostomy bag. Oh, my man! So, blew out my ostomy bag. Oh. So then I'm trying to deal with that mess, <laughs> getting that all straightened out, getting the truck hooked, trying to get the truck hooked up. Then as I'm trying to straighten out my ostomy bag blown out, here comes Central Oregon Daily pulls up. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I mean, like, time, their timing is impeccable. Interview, and I'm like, Sure, I, I literally have shit everywhere, but you know what? Pull out that camera. Let's film some stuff. <laughs> oh, fuck, While he's dude. trying to get the camera out, I'm trying to hurry up and clean everything off. Clean everything up. Change an ostomy bag. Get all set up before he gets his camera out and all set up. And so then I had to do the, the interview with there. Then I had to finish getting the truck hooked up. And then then I finally leave. And I pass you. You guys all got up the pit and back okay. and everything. Yeah. And I finally go by. And I'm like, they they have no idea. We literally so if you ever wanted to know about dedication, this man right here, full dedication. That, that is what took me so long. Understood. So we got Jared here from Central Oregon Daily. He's out here helping promote this whole cleanup thing too. So he brings way fancier camera stuff than I do and microphones and headphones and all the cool stuff. So we just did a little interview. Uh, that will be up long before this video is up. So if you go check out Central Oregon Daily on Facebook, centraloregondaily.com. Yep, yep. Big thanks to them for coming out and helping to promote everything we can do to get the word out for this thing helps and just the more people we can get out here the better. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's, that's good stuff. That's how my day's going. So this is Troy's 
six by six extended cab rollback. You want to talk about dream truck right there. I need one of these in my life. A lot. You know the type of shenanigans I could get into with this thing? Troy's got like super cool 6x6 military wreckers and all that type of stuff. This truck is my favorite though. 6x6 rollback with an extended cab. I need one. Can I see one of those, that J, if we hook the J hook to that, I can hook it right to the center. If you got a center point to pull. It's well to well, it's up to you though. You can try it. If not, we run all the way to the back and grab the back end of it and scoop it up. Because yeah, then that's yeah, not going to rip apart. Let's throw the, uh, the J hook on that. Can't break through yet. Alright, go ahead and tighten them up. Yeah, we're on. Hold up. It's, it's hooked up on the red pallet. Yeah, wait, wait till he, uh... Yeah, he needs to lift, otherwise that's just gonna rip out. Uh... Dude, I was totally trying to walk by, get a good shot of the back of your shirt and what it says, and you, you totally ruined it by leaving, because you didn't know what I was doing, but didn't do what I wanted you to do. This is a sensitive subject, but I'm smelling sewage, so I'm just... Yeah. Easy. <laughs> it's not me this time. <laughs> So this here was the, let's grab the easy part and hope it works thing, even though it probably won't, and it didn't, but it's worth a shot. So now we're gonna run that all the way through the whole thing, and we're gonna stick it out the back here and grab the back of this thing so that we're, we're scooping it from behind with the winch instead of pulling on the front. Look at Pete just over here making stuff happen. Thank you till you make it. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Tighten. Okay. Oh. Good. Hey, clear. Right up there. You're good. Oh, we gotta plug in this rough out, bro. It's almost like Troy knows what he's doing. Got it loaded up, got a couple enough straps on it. Now we can call that thing an RV. What a mess. Tomorrow there's gonna be a big hand crew out here that this is all gonna be gone. And this is gonna be clean and nice forest. Make sure you come back for the uh, after photo because before is a mess. Yeah. Damn. After is going to look a lot different. It'll be nice and clean, pretty. Back Good to, job, uh, Troy. Back to a place we'd actually want to camp at. So that is how you do or don't load up an old uh, junk camper on a 6x6 rollback and haul it out of the woods. So now that we got that done, we're ready for tomorrow. It's on to the next one. I was totally going to like video bomb you. Oh, I'm way too good for that. It's gonna be like, uh, tow trucks and stuff. Mm. <laughs> no, no, you'll never get me.